Hello everyone. It's very good to get a chance to speak to you. I've been missing getting into the school these last few weeks, and especially as the time has come for you to leave Invergowrie School and go on to the next step, whatever it is for you, I was looking forward to saying something to you at the church when we would meet at the end of term. But that's not going to be possible, so we, we're just trying to do this uh, special service for you, wherever you're watching today, possibly with your mum and dad. And although it's different, it's still pretty exciting, this stage that you've got to in your life. I certainly remember what it was like when I was, when I was your age. It's one of the most vivid memories in my childhood because I went from the little primary school at EC where three classes were one class and uh, those of us who were older there were really important and I was going to Farfar Academy which was a big school in a big town as far as I was concerned and I hardly knew anybody. What an adventure it was. And I was a bit scared, to tell you the truth. Of course, there were good things about it too. I, I was looking forward to learning new things. I, I was especially keen to get to science. And, and if I could learn a new language, that sounded pretty exciting to me too. And there were lots of other possibilities. And maybe I could make a few friends. I didn't know about that, but, but maybe I could. And we went, some of us, a few of us, from EC school to Forfar, and I think we all felt the same way, that we were really, we were really very small in a very big, frightening school. Well, it's not really like that for you. Um, things are not so scary, I think, now as they were for us then. And it was a time when I suppose we began to think, began to think about, well, what was I going to do? What was I going to be? What was the future? I thought of different things around that time. I thought maybe I could be a pilot. That sounded pretty exciting. I was pretty keen on Dan Dare, and uh, that was a comic in those days. The Eagle had this astronaut, Dan Dare, and he was a pilot going into outer space. And I was, believe it or not, uh, quite interested in that kind of thing. And maybe, maybe I could travel and have an exciting life like that. Or <laughs> more mundane and, and ordinary, I sometimes thought, well, you could maybe make a lot of money. You could become an accountant or a banker or something like that. And you could, you could make a good life and have a nice house and a big car and, and things like that. And then other times I would think of other things that maybe I could be. Maybe I could be a politician and be important and people would listen to what I had to say and do what I told them. But I can't remember actually that I particularly ever wanted to do that. But in lots of ways it was kind of confusing, and I think I was a little bit lost. It was a bit like being on a misty mountain of some kind, and the direction wasn't very clear. And um, I've asked a few of my friends if they could find for me um, what you call a compass, because a compass is something, here is one, here, a compass is something that shows you always where the direction is, where the North Pole is, to be specific, and then you can work everything else from there. So there's, there's a compass um, there that I'm, I'm showing you, and down below it there's a magnifying glass, because with the magnifying glass you just have to use your imagination, but you, can, you could see clearly a map, and in that way you could get your direction, couldn't you? Very important. Here's another compass 
that uh, one of my other friends has brought along to show me. It's a, it's a very old one. There it is. And, but the idea is the same. The, the, the main point points to the north, and you can work everything else out from there. And um, I suppose I was looking for something that could give me the direction, the right direction to be going. Maybe maybe I wouldn't know specifically for a while what I would really do, but if I had the general direction of life right, that would be pretty important. And around that time in my life, um, I came to realise that, that maybe there was something that could be like a map that could show you the way and, and keep you right, keep you in the right direction. In our house we had several Bibles, and we went along to church, not every Sunday, but quite a lot, and God was sort of around, I suppose I could tell you, but not, not awfully close. But at this time in my life I began to think more about what was God's plan? I had had my plans to be a pilot or an accountant or a politician. I had some ideas like that myself but but what was god's plan what was i really meant to do and for that there's another book and the book is called the bible and in the bible you get the story of jesus and all that he came to be and to do and he points us in the right direction and he doesn't just point us in the right direction but he promises to give us the help to get there. Well, I have to tell you, I've had a very exciting life. I never became a pilot. I never became an accountant. I became a minister instead. And I work in Scotland, and then I went abroad to Kyrgyzstan, and I've been all over the place. And I have friends all over the world who also believe in Jesus and are going his direction. And now I'm getting to be a little bit old, uh, but I have to tell you, you know, that really it's a marvellous thing to find the right direction in your life. And for me, it's the Bible and Jesus that way. Maybe that's the way for you too. And I want to encourage you. One way or another, I want to give you a little gift. It's a very little gift. It's just a card. But it has on it words that Paul wrote to some friends of his a long time ago. And it, they go like this. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the friendship of the Holy Spirit be with you. Well, I don't have time to go into all of that today. But these are very wonderful words. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ means God's wonderful kindness to us through the love of the Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God the Father is speaking about how God wants to have you in his family. And the friendship of the Holy Spirit means that you have the strength to do things that you couldn't otherwise do. So that blessing is the blessing I want to share with you for the next step of your life. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the friendship of the Holy Spirit be with each one of you.